Hello, dear people of God. May the grace of the Lord be with you, embracing you with His blessings. May your path be illuminated by His guidance and protection. Let's journey together through Psalm 91's blessings. Are you ready to experience the power of this prayer? Let's begin by inviting God's presence into our lives. As we delve into this prayer, I encourage you to prepare a glass of water. Why, you ask? Well, the blessings we're about to invoke will be transferred to that water. When you drink it, you'll feel a tangible sense of well-being. Isn't that amazing? Before we proceed, please share your first name in the comments and jot down this phrase. God will deliver me from the snare of the fowler. This will unite us in prayer and fortify our collective journey. If this is your first time here, a warm welcome to you. We're the Daily Prayer of Faith community. Here, it's all about connecting with God, delving into His teachings from the Bible, and finding strength together. Have you subscribed yet? By doing so, you'll be part of our prayers, with YouTube sending you prayer notifications for free. Click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay connected. Now, let's talk about Psalm 90, One Significance. It's a beacon of light in the face of spiritual challenges. Have you ever had troubling dreams lately? Dreams of hair loss, snakes, or falling teeth? These can be more than just dreams. They might carry messages. This prayer will help you decode them and find peace. Imagine being chased in dreams or facing unexpected falls. These dreams hold meaning and will help you decipher them in future prayers. Today, Let's focus on Psalm 91 to quell their impact. Ready for a fascinating number? Seven. It's a spiritual powerhouse in the Bible. Joshua marched around Jericho's walls seven times and they fell. Naaman dipped in the Jordan River seven times and was healed. Even Elijah prayed seven times and God answered, Let's tap into this divine energy. For the next seven days, listen to this prayer at your convenience, preferably accompanied by seven hours of fasting. Dedicate yourself to this spiritual journey. Expect blessings, protection, and breakthroughs. Psalm 91 speaks to all aspects of life. If relationship challenges or curses from the past have burdened you, this prayer will lift that weight. Let's journey through this prayer together. Before we begin to pray, you need to know. Psalm 91 brings protection and liberation. For those who are going through problems in their sentimental area, I suggest that you hold a photo of yourself and another of the person you are in a relationship with while I offer a specific prayer for your sentimental lives. If you are not yet in a relationship, but wish for God to bless this area of your life or someone else's life, you can also hold a photo and write prayer for sentimental life on the back. By doing this, you are symbolically indicating and signaling to God who needs it. And if you're not yet subscribed to our channel, know that you are now among one of the largest and fastest growing prayer communities in the world. Here, we don't deal with religion, but rather with a sincere and genuine connection with the living God. So, if you're not subscribed yet, Please look below for the word subscribe in red letters and click to subscribe. From today onwards, be sure that your life will be greatly blessed. Amen. At this moment, calm yourself and prepare your heart, as we are going to pray Psalm 91. Additionally, have a glass of water at hand because after these prayer, drinking this blessed water will bring many blessings to your life. One more guidance before we begin the prayer. I would like to advise you to listen to it for the next seven days. Choose a time of day and listen as you do everything with God. On the seventh day, amplify your victory. The number seven, according to the Bible, is the number of God and victory. Listen to this prayer for six more days, completing seven, and be certain that great blessings will come into your life from our Lord God. Now. Let's immerse ourselves in Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. 
Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. May this prayer bring peace, protection, and blessings to your life. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. With every word, feel the embrace of divine protection. Through every line, visualize God's shield guarding your heart and mind. Feeling the power of this prayer, wonderful. To amplify its reach, share it with seven people. Imagine the ripple effect of this blessing touching lives far and wide. Now remember that glass of water you prepared. It's about to become a vessel of blessings. As we conclude this prayer, every drop of water is infused with Psalm 91's energy. As you sip, know that you're ingesting God's grace. Let's express our gratitude to God for this incredible experience. Your journey doesn't end here. Keep revisiting this prayer for the next seven days. And remember, the number seven is your companion on this transformative path. As we part ways, keep Psalm 91 close to your heart. Share your experiences and reflections in the comments. Let's foster a community of faith, strength, and support. May God's blessings continue to envelop you, guiding you through life's challenges. Until we meet again, stay blessed, stay connected, and stay strong in faith. Amen.